my friends. Do you want to become a scientist? I'm sure you do. But do you want to become the next Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? I'm sure you do. Do you want to write another equation like f equal m a and e equal m t squared? I'm sure you do. But however, to become a scientist like Sir Isaac Newton and uh, Albert Einstein and to write an equation, you have to make a theory. But how do you create a theory? First, you have to uh, make something called phenomena. Then, you have to observe the phenomena. In this case, our phenomena will be dropping an apple. Drop the apple to here to the ground. I'm going to keep track. So, uh, let, uh, let's put one knot here. So now the other dot is not that distance, but the third dot is all the way to the ground, very distant from the second dot. But you might be asking, Bruno, why did you draw dots, imaginary dots, by the way, when you drop apples? This is called modeling. But why do you need a model? Well, because modeling allows you to write a hypothesis. But why do you need a hypothesis? Because if you test that hypothesis over and over, you get a theory. But, but if that hypothesis works every time, then it's not just a theory, it's a law. Laws always come in the form of equations, like uh, Newton's F equal MA or Einstein's equal MC. So what hypothesis does just dropping some singular object give us? Well, of course the distance is not constant since let's say this is where we dropped it from. This is uh, like the second point and then it dropped all the way to the ground. Of course that's not constant. Is it exponential? No, of course it's not exponential. Uh, the distance from the second point to the third point is not that big. Um, so it must be a quadratic. And let's uh, replace x with t. So we get a t squared plus b t plus c. Now set b and c to zero and a to five. You get y equal five t squared. But is y y? Of course it is. But it is also d of t. So d of t is five t squared. That is our hypothesis. But then the hypothesis gets tested and tested. Then it becomes 4.98 squared, t squared. Then it becomes tested and tested and tested until it becomes tested so many times that it becomes the now well-known equation half a t squared. I repeat, d equal to half a t squared. And now you might be saying, Suborno Bari, you taught me uh, how to make a theory and how to measure the distance between stuff. Now you know how to uh, become the next side of the world. Suborno Isaac Bari, known as God of Mathematics. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.